Welcome, I'm David Geiger, anchor and reporter for the Agribusiness Report, which is owned by the Agribusiness Association of Iowa. This year came with great news. We added KYOU-TV in southeast Iowa to the list of stations airing the report, extending our coverage area to 70 counties statewide. And with the combined four shows on WHO-TV and KCRG-TV, this year there will be 75 hours of agriculture news broadcast to Iowans. Those hours will be seen by 88,000 households, about 7% of Iowa's families, generating 22.5 million annual household views. There's been a lot of news this year. Agriculture saw major tax legislation go into effect, one that accidentally preferred co-ops over private businesses. I made sure to cover that and follow up on how there's still uncertainty. Don't be surprised if you go to your tax professional and you know they don't have all the answers because the reason is that IRS really hasn't given us all those answers yet. Former Iowa Secretary of Agriculture Bill Northey was chosen to be a USDA undersecretary and after months of waiting, finally was confirmed. I'm about to enter. On which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Undersecretary Bill Northey. That prompted a heavily contested Secretary of Agriculture primary race between five Republicans, ultimately heading to a tight race in November. We're focused on the future of agriculture. We've got to do more to make farmers profitable. I made sure to cover it all, all the way to the end. And I'm excited to have the opportunity to continue to uh, work to build a stronger agriculture. I'm going to continue to fight every day. I spoke to all three governor candidates on how they plan to deal with agriculture. Water quality bill that we passed, uh, that was uh, long-term dedicated funding for water quality. We've been working on it for three years, so I was happy to get that done. This year we had our longtime state climatologist retire. Wetter trend uh, for the spring and, and summer seasons, but uh, change I guess being the, kind of the key word. AAI also generously allowed me to go on an NAFB farm broadcaster trip to China where I spoke to Ambassador Terry Branstead. The chemistry between the two leaders, between President Trump and President Xi Jinping is good. Covered a laying facility, the ports and crushers of China. I'm David Geiger at the Machang port in China and visited the wet markets. <laughs> bringing those important stories back to Iowa at a time when trade tensions were high. With exports and prices falling, I spoke to those leading the charge of the $12 billion market facilitation program. The time is now uh, to uh, make that announcement and get those payments made. And the farm bill passed. I made sure to help break it down for farmers and non-farmers. The bill as they finally came to resolve some of the differences is widely supported. Uh, it's a fairly status quo bill. My job is to make sure agriculture news is told respecting those on and off the farm. I believe agriculture needs an outlet to reliably tell its story. So I want to thank you for your continued support for the Agribusiness Report.